Yeah, look at all your gear, dude. Oh, oh yeah, it's a perfect time to do a little intro here. What is going on, guys? Little warning. This video, one of the very few videos that will not include any fishing. So just warning you. But I think some of you guys will appreciate this video. If you've been a subscriber to the channel for a while now, you know last year did a lot of camping out of my truck for tournaments. Pretty simple. I had basically a sleeping bag, some pillows. You know, I, I managed to charge some stuff for the weekend trips. It wasn't ideal, but it was doable. So today, and where is he? He's right. over there. You guys know that fellow. What's up? That's the wizard, Ramel. Today, we're actually not doing kayak mods. The main project is to make this truck more campable, more comfortable. And I'm not saying I wanna live out of this thing, but for like a two, three day trip to a lake where I could basically park in the, the parking lot and camp overnight, we wanna make that a little bit more convenient. Got a lot of stuff here. It, it doesn't sound like much, but it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Stay tuned guys, and I'll show you. You know what, maybe actually I'll show you. This is, to be honest, right now, when I have a trip or a tournament, kayak obviously goes in the back, but uh, this is how I transport all my stuff. I got the rods, the tackle trunk, boondocks wheels, propel drive. On the other side, you know, I store all the miscellaneous stuff I need for the kayak. Paddle, GoPro uh, mount, uh, the net, PFD, boots, and then in the front, I'll have my food for the weekend. I've got my Orion cooler, clothes. I got some pillows down there, bag of food. But pretty much it is just slam packed there. So uh, one of the other things that we're going to try to accomplish today is just to make storage a little bit better. So enough of that. We're going to get started and I will show you guys what we do. guys it is like almost 10 o'clock I would say we but it's been Ramel it's gonna say Ramel has been at it all day I've given him my support but the truck stuff is done the problem is right now I've got to get to Lake Comanche to meet a few guys and the gate closes at 11 so I gotta pretty much book it we're not gonna be able to give you a tour tonight of the truck but that might be a good thing it'll allow me to actually spend the night in the truck tonight get used to some of the mods that we did and then you know, maybe next week or the next time I camp out of it, I'll be able to show you guys what exactly Ramel did and uh, what I was thinking would make truck camping a lot easier. So, we'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so, it's been a little bit since we finished the truck mods and I finally made it out. To this is beautiful Lake Comanche here in Northern California doing a two-day fishing trip one night's day and uh, the truck is pretty much going to be in its first use with all the mods pretty much what I want to do now is show you guys and do my best to explain exactly what Ramel did to make this truck more campable and like I said these mods are more so to make this truck livable for two three-day trips you know two night trips the big thing that you'll see is power. Power was something that we definitely needed just in case we were at a site like this site, for example, does not have electrical outlets. So power is something I'm going to need, especially with the how I fish and needing batteries for my trolling motor, my fish finder, GoPros, using my laptop, coffee maker, etc. So power was kind of the big modification 
with this truck but let's just get right into it and i'll try to explain as best as i can how we did everything so let's first just kind of get a raw look everything packed up so front we'll start okay so this is actually kind of my workspace office sleeping area so the first thing that we have and, and you know what i'm gonna say we Romel did all this but i'll just say we makes it easier First thing that we did was add a seat warmer, okay? We were thinking thinking about a heater, but you always have to worry about carbon monoxide and ventilation. But with this seat warmer, it pretty much is a USB attachment. And you can set it to high, low, medium, whatnot. And this will keep you nice and toasty in the truck. Uh, to go along with that, I do have a 30 degree sleeping bag. But as far as the bed setup, all we pretty much do is flip up the center console. That actually flips all the way up to the level of the seats. We just put the sleeping bag out, uh, turn the seat warmer on. I've got a couple pillows over there and it's fine. It's comfortable. I've slept like that for all last year's camping trips, minus the seat, war seat warmer, and it was perfectly fine. Other stuff up here, nothing too crazy. Let me go to the other side actually. So I don't bring too much up here. I don't want to take up too much space. I like to use the bulk of my storage in the back, which you'll see in a second. But uh, you know, I have my camera bag here with me. Uh, miscellaneous bag of maybe some dirty clothes, extra thermoses, whatnot. Keep my backpack with some electronics in there. Uh, like I said, my two pillows. And uh, this is actually something I'm, I made myself. It is not super fancy, but I could never find a good place for a garbage can in the truck and bags just didn't seem to work they'd spill over and i needed something small convenient and out of the way and this little space kind of was perfect for it so pretty much took some cardboard cut it to size try to do my best doing this with one hand as best as possible added some uh tape added some velcro got small size garbage bags and that is absolutely perfect for putting little wrappers or small trash items in there, just keeping them out of the way, and then I can just go dump that uh, at the end of the day. Have a little light here, my own little flashlight, just in case I need some extra light in the middle of the night or I wanna see something. And this isn't for the winter, but for the summer months, we have a fan. This is actually a USB fan, which will plug into one of the USB ports up here. We're gonna revisit a lot of this stuff once I show you the extra power that we've added, but uh, this fan will come in handy in the summer when it gets real hot and we need some ventilation and some airflow. So let's take a look at the back. This is kind of the stuff side. We've got extra straps here. This is the tackle trunk, which has all my fishing gear in it, all my baits, my seat for my kayak. It's got a little drawer here as well for extra stuff. I keep my rods from the Calcos rod mule, except for these two new ones I just picked up, but pretty much just bunches them up, keep them off to this side, out of the way. Uh, underneath, these are actually blackout shades for every single window in this truck. So, and I'll show you guys that later tonight, but pretty much every shade is custom fit to each window. So I can pretty much stealth camp in this and be completely blacked out, have light in there, and nobody should know that I'm in there just by looking at the truck. We'll go to the other side before we take a look at the back. So coming over to this side of the truck in the back, this is pretty much our food situation, our miscellaneous item situation. We've got an Orion cooler. This is a 25 quart. I can fit at least enough food and beverages for a couple days, few nights, whatnot. We've got all the essentials in there. I'm not gonna bore you with that. These little Orion coolers are cool just because they come with this little light on the side. Gives you a little extra light if you need to see in the dark. I didn't put any ice in here just because I'm only doing one night. I pretty much just take frozen water bottles and put them in there just to keep things cool. All right, so let's talk about this bin. This bin pretty much has all my cooking stuff, sleeping stuff, keep all my extra dry food in there. I am a coffee addict. I need my coffee in the morning and we do have it set up so I can make coffee from the truck, but just in case it fails for some reason, I've got some instant coffees. Yes, it'll be cold, but I've got some water bottles. Throw that instant coffee in there. I get my burst of caffeine. I don't have a headache for the day. 
Got lots of tuna packets in here. Can't beat tuna. Got some olives, beef jerky, some granola bars, more tuna. That's pretty much what I got for now. Again, guys, this is my first time kind of outfitting my truck for camping. Things should get better as I get more experienced and figure out what's best to take with me. So we've got our sleeping bag here, 30 degree sleeping bag. That'll keep me plenty warm tonight in combination with the seat warmer. Got a big jug of water for the coffee maker right there. Coffee filters, coffee, little coffee scoop. Got extra garbage bags, a couple dry towels, some plates. Here's a little bag of toiletries, toothbrush, toothpaste, etc. I've got extra beverages there in the back, as you can see. Got a lockbox installed in case I'm bringing some valuables with me and I want to keep them secure in the truck while I'm out fishing. We'll go in that lockbox. Pretty sturdy, pretty solid. Gonna be hard for someone to break into that. Got a bag of extra clothes uh, below the seat. I keep my paddle back here as well as my GoPro mount. Just extra space that I had and it was a convenient location. So yeah, that pretty much covers the inside. Now what we'll do is we will take the kayak out and I will show you guys what's in the back. Alrighty, so what do we have in the back? This is kind of where the magic happens. So first of all, we'll show you, that's where I keep my net typically. This was the big add-on, this is the Duha Tote. Typically, I would store some stuff like my motor, hog trough, boots, life jacket, just in the back of the truck. They'd move around, not well protected, but with this guy, pretty much what we do, we slide her out. I have perfect storage for all my other kayak gear. We've got life vest, we've got my motor, hog trough boots, we've got some locking lassos, and then below all this stuff, we've got extra baits, just in case I need something else that I wasn't prepared for. This over here is where the magic happens. And maybe this is a good segue to talk about the power situation in this truck. We've got the main battery in the front of the truck wired up to this inverter, which has another battery inside it and converts the power to a higher current. And I apologize if I'm not explaining this completely correctly, but pretty much what this allows is for me to have a battery I can run separately without the truck on that will take higher voltage electronic items like a coffee maker, a laptop, charging some of my lithium ion batteries. That's the whole purpose of this. So that is pretty much what's going to power everything else inside the truck. So let's go back around and I'll show you exactly what that secondary battery is connected to. Now actually, before we go into that, this is how we turn it on. So it is an on off kind of deal. If I want to turn that battery on, all you got to do is press on. Pretty simple. Off. The beauty of this system is that I can use that battery. I can drain it down to whatever. And as long as my car's on, my primary battery battery should charge that secondary battery. I don't need to charge this any other way except for having my truck on, which obviously I always use my truck. You can see the power to each battery. This is my main car battery. And when the truck is on, that's all green. And when the truck is on, that's all green as well. But it's pretty much, right now, got a 100% full charge. So for things like I mentioned, the seat warmer, the USB fan, these two outlets right here, we've got a two USB outlets. We've got the cigarette lighter outlet. Those are connected to that secondary battery. So if I need to charge something, you know, and I don't want the truck on, that's where they'll go. If I, obviously when I'm sleeping, whether it's the fan, whether it's the heated seat, it'll be connected to one of those because obviously that'll run off the battery back there and I won't drain my main battery. Now this is where we're gonna get most of the juice. So there's this little alien spaceship thing, power strip basically. So this is the power strip that I will plug in my coffee maker, my laptop, battery chargers for my tackle trunk. And those guys will charge overnight. So today I actually went fishing. I used up pretty much all of my motor battery and a good chunk of my fish finder battery and my camera battery. So I'll just plug those in right now and uh, charge them up and they should be good to go for tomorrow. And then the other thing that I forgot to mention which also runs off that secondary battery is this dome light. Now, typically in this truck, you have these lights 
And let's face it, those are pretty weak. They really don't light up anything. But like I was saying, I plan on, you know, making some overnight trips this year for fishing, for tournaments, and uh, I'll have some time to kill at nighttime. So I want to do some work. I want to, you know, not be in the dark, basically, in my truck. So this dome light is all touch. Power on. You can control how dim or how bright it is. You can even change the lighting. So more of a yellow light versus more of a white light. And I'll tell you what, when that guy's on, and we tested this, when that guy's on and we have all the blackout shades, it lights up the whole cab. I mean, you can, it feels like you're in a room, basically. So just something, you know, creature comfort um, that'll be nice to have when I'm basically in my truck <laughs> for a night. I am trying to figure else what I have to show you for the truck mods. It really, I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but again, that took all the 12 hours to do. Um, and again, big thanks to Ramel for doing these for me and uh, helping me out. And uh, it should make this year and this fishing season, tournament season, a lot more enjoyable, a lot more comfortable. And uh, like I mentioned before, today uh, is gonna be the first night I'll try it. So hopefully it goes well, no hiccups along the road, but uh, pretty excited for it for this channel uploads every three days. So the next video that I'm gonna show you guys is actually gonna be this trip, this fishing trip of today's fishing, which by the way is very short, trust me. But it will also include the first night of camping out of this truck, seeing how it does, making coffee in the morning. I know it sounds really exciting, but to me that's actually pretty exciting because it's not something I've been able to do before. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna just tidy up some stuff, do a little work, maybe fish a little bit, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later guys.